I am among uh, greatness and talent here today. Man, oh man, let me introduce you first of all. Julian Bliss, how are you, sir? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Well, holding that beautiful instrument, we all love it, the clarinet, and you helped design uh, clarinets for the Con Selma folks, didn't you? Yeah, I've been working with Con Selma for about 14 years now um, in design, manufacture, and also promotion and education and all sorts of other things. Well, we're going to hear from you in a little bit, but we've got Chip Lehman over here. You hey, with Con Selma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Well, thanks for bringing him. I know you kind of got with Roper Music and uh, got this man in town. When you leave us, you'll do some clinics. Is that what you're going to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get the opportunity to, to be with him here and there throughout the year. And when he comes over, I try to grab him. We go visit schools and mm -hmm. uh, play for the, the students and have a good time. You ever get any yeah. odd questions, like which end to hold it from and which side to blow on? Well, sometimes I have to remind myself <laughs> of that yeah, right. Myself, yeah, right. <laughs> tell, you're from England. Yes. And uh, tell us some of the places you've been featured. You've played uh, in London. And uh, over the years, I've been I've been playing for 26 years now. I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to perform all over the world with some of the greatest orchestras and greatest musicians. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I count myself pretty lucky that I get the chance to do that. You started at four, so now I know how old you are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you start out on clarinet? Um, well, actually, started on recorder, um, first of all, but that didn't last too long. Well, a lot of kids uh, start yeah. you know, with that, don't they? And then uh, went, my parents took me to the local music shop to try different instruments. Right. And uh, when someone handed me a clarinet, that was pretty much it. Uh, I decided within two or three minutes, so and never looked back. Fell, fell in love with it. That most definitely. It's a beautiful instrument, and of course, it was used uh, way, way back, even before they thunk up the saxophone, didn't it? It was, the, especially the clarinet was was very heavily used in jazz throughout the years, and yeah. they it, it kind of brought the instrument to a completely new audience. Mm -hmm. So it's been a, a mainstay in music for many, many, many years. Well, see, Benny Goodman, eh, he's passed. You're current. <laughs> We got Julian Bliss here. We're going to hear from him. So, uh, Chip, uh, Con yes, Selmer, you guys are together. Two of the greatest names in musical instruments. Absolutely, been making uh, musical instruments for for many years. We're the last of the true American craftsmen. Yeah. Still located in Elkhart, Indiana, and just down the road in Monroe, North Carolina. I know he's been through the factory. I have actually uh, been honored mm -hmm. to fly up with my yeah. son and see, a, see him make those things. It's a magical place. It really is. Okay, Julian Bliss, uh, thanks for coming over to the pond and bringing that beautiful clarinet, and we're going to hear a little song. Should we listen to you? Why not? All right. 